This week, Apple released the first tvOS 10 beta for the new Apple TV. This includes some new features like a dark mode found under settings, general, and appearance. It changes the look from light to dark and works in Apple's apps as well as the home screen. You can also do new things like automatically download apps. So if you install Netflix on your iPhone or iPad, it'll automatically download on Apple TV as well if it isn't already installed. Photos gets a new feature called Memories, which groups together similar photos and videos from the same location or time frame and makes a nice presentation out of them that you can share in the living room. Siri gains some new features like YouTube search for the first time, for example. Find 9to5Mac on YouTube. There we go. You can also find movies and TV shows by topics now. Show me movies about politics. Some nice selections there, plus Zootopia. And you can control HomeKit from Siri on the Apple TV. Turn off the office lights. Or change the temperature to 74 degrees. Now, you can't do some things like locking the front door, for example, but you can create scenes like movie night that lowers the lights automatically and lowers the temperature as well. So that's very useful for HomeKit users. There's also a new Apple TV remote app that lets you use your iPhone just like a Siri remote minus volume control. So you can navigate smoothly. You can use Siri on the Apple TV from your iPhone, and you can even use it as a game controller in apps. TVOS 10 supports app notifications and app icon badging, so apps can alert you just like they do on iOS. And TVOS 10 will support a single sign-on feature that lets you log into all of your cable apps without having to log into them separately. When TVOS 10 launches later this fall, there'll be an App Store page for each cable provider to see which apps are available for which service. TVOS is currently available in developer beta for version 10, and tvOS 10 will be available to the public later this fall.